Hello, welcome to the Blessing Report. In this video, we're talking about how to hear God's voice and how to discern the Holy Spirit. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. And remember, if you're new here, this is the Blessing Report. I'm Winston Mayo, and now let's get to the show. It begins the whisper. Hello, welcome to The Blessing Report, the channel for comedy and conviction, edification, and entertainment. I'm Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy, and we are really going into deep today, so I want to do some advanced stuff. And the question is how to hear God's voice and how to um, discern if you're hearing from God, yourself, or the devil. <laughs> and um, we're just going to break it down into um, three, two sets of three categories, right? And so there are spiritual principles that um, have been like historical, like practices, uh, um, spiritual discipline practices, and they are break, broken down into stillness, silence, and solitude. So. We see this in the Bible represented um, with Jesus when he is accessing um, God, um, that he would seclude himself. It says that he would go to lonely places or go to the Mount of Olives or um, he would um, just get away from his disciples. So that is solitude. Um, stillness, um, it says that he would abide um, with the Father, and also that's the promises uh, for us. If we abide in God, He will abide in us. So um, He was still, but also in um, silence in His prayers, that um, God is a still small voice. So listening is very important. All right. So if you want a deeper connection with God, deeper intimacy, and how to hear um, God's voice, you need to implement in your life stillness silence and solitude all right so how do we as like human beings react um, we experience god each other in the world in three categories we are head people we are emotion heart people and then we are body people so when it comes to the three categories we operate out of all three but we have a primary we have a secondary and then we have a tertiary so primary first secondary two and then tertiary three so how to um, know if you are one or the other um, Two, you can have points of contention, like stress, like um, tension, um, but also how you interact with the world, with God, and with people. So if you are a head person, you process through your mind, through thinking um, as your primary resource, um, but emotions will be difficult for you. Um, and then sometimes your body as well but emotions would be like the hardest one and then um, silence will be um, the point of contention and anxiety for you because you have so many thoughts that being in style uh, silence just rattles you up so this is for the mind people you process everything life people and god through your thoughts. Um, second, you have the body people. I am a body person. Um, we have the innate ability to process everything through um, innate knowing and um, instinct. So um, physical actions. And what we will struggle with is stillness. So if the idea of not moving creates a lot of anxiety uh, for you most likely you are a body person and then we process the world through actions through touch and through um, this innate instinct all right and then lastly you have the heart and emotion people who process the world through emotion in your heart and feelings and their um, difficulty will be solitude and um, with this you will have the most anxiety of being alone with God um, that there is a difference between being alone and being lonely so 
um, what do we do with um, these three things and how to hear from God. We have to first discern um, the points of contention and then um, point more to areas of health. All right. And so when you're hearing um, from God and you are a um, what was do a body person, um, the lie that you'll hear uh, from the devil is that God is not moving. So because you are still, the opposite of stillness um, is like action. And so if you are in stillness and it doesn't feel like God is moving while you are waiting, that is the lie, all right? And then um, if you're a mind person, yours is silence. The opposite of silence is speaking most likely. And so the lie that you will hear is that God is not speaking, all right? And then, um, if you are a heart or emotions person, um, yours is solitude and the opposite of solitude is present. So the lie that you will receive is that God is not present, all right? Stillness, God is always working, all powerful, all right? <laughs> Silence, God is always speaking, all knowing. <laughs> um, I think that actually might be in the mind. <laughs> Um, is omnipresent. Oh, and that's feeling. There we go. <laughs> and then um, solitude. Um, God is everywhere. Um, omnipotent. Omnipresent. All right. So it breaks. It breaks down. And um, those three: all knowing, um, omnipresent, all powerful. Yes. So those are the points. So how do you implement this in your real life and day to day? All right. So just know that this is going to be hard. Um, it will not come naturally for most. So you have to give yourself grace and patience that the thing that you need most in your life will be the most difficult, the most challenging, the most frustrating, and you will feel unfulfilled maybe in a moment or after, but long term, it will be great fulfillment. So have five to um, 20 minutes of this as your starting point of uh, um, sitting in silence, stillness, and solitude. And um, when you are doing it, um, make sure that you just know how you're operating. So like with me, I always do 20 minutes because I am struggling for that first five to 10 minutes to be still and that my body won't be anxious, all right? And so you might have to do the same if you're a mind person, trying to get your mind to relax and not focus on all these thoughts, but to have the silence. And then in your solitude, being a heart and emotions person, just um, resting without um, feeling alone, having anxiety or tension in your emotions. So when you are um, receiving and trying to hear the voice of God um, in each component, um, sit in a chair and then have your feet on the ground. So you want your spine to be kind of aligned um, vertically. And with your feet on the ground, that helps you to be aware of um, your body, right? And you're just trying to um, get grounded. So this is how alignment helps. Uh, make sure that your hands are open, right? So this helps you um, get aware spatially and emotionally of how you feel. So that's the heart and emotions people. But then also um, have your head up in like a dignified position, but also have your eyes closed. This helps you to focus on your thoughts and how to clear them out. And so in the midst of all of this, um, it's gonna sound counterintuitive. What you wanna do is nothing and you're just abiding in God. Um, so this is not prayer, it's not intercession, no thanksgiving, this is not Bible study, it's saying, this is just trying to be aware of yourself, right? And um, how we are made in the image of God, his likeness, and with that, we are uh, more whole. So um, just be aware that things of, um, that basically you have been ignoring in your life will surface from the stillness, from the silence, and from the solitude. And um, if something is never addressed, it cannot be conquered, and neither will you receive deliverance in this. And so afterwards, 
the five or 20 minutes is up. Um, make sure you write down what you have and then you can move into prayer, into uh, fasting, intercession, and Bible study. But it's important that you have this sacred time um, just so that you are a whole person and that you are not fractured. All right, so that's my video, how to hear uh, from the voice of God, how to discern his voice and like practical steps um, in implementation of that. And so if you wanna know where I learned all of this, I'm in the um, like spiritual discipline course at Grace Midtown in Atlanta. Um, that is Grace Midtown Church, which is also known as House Fires, if you listen to their music and so I'll have the link in the description below for um, that class, but I know the process is like first to church members and then it opens up um, to everyone else. And so the class will be in the fall, so like September of 2019. And also, if you just want some like resources, um, the book, The Sacred Enneagram by Christopher Holt, L. Holt. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, put it in the description box below. It goes um, through all of this. And the point of the book is just to know um, areas of stress, areas of um, growth, and also um, the fallings and like the pitfalls of different personalities and how they interact with God, the world, and each other and themselves. And um, what the point also is not to like box you in, but to know character traits and be able to ascend um, above those. So it's much not it is not like horoscopes where it's like I am a Capricorn and I behave in this manner. No, so you're just like oh I'm a head person. I lean in this way. I need to ascend, and this is how I can ascend healthfully, and this is how I can help. Um, and be a co-labor with God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus, and um, Christ-likeness, all right? And then, um, if you wanna know like really cool topics, um, most of my information came from Jerome Loeb, and he is with the Thrive Neuro Theology um, Institution. <laughs> So put that in the link in the bio as well. He is a neurosurgeon that um, does emotional intelligence health and smartest man I've ever um, <laughs> thought of. I mean, like hurt because he was saying that um, us being heart, body and mind people, who is the heart? the Holy Spirit, emotions, feeling. He is a comforter. <laughs> Who is the body? Who actually took on a physical body? Jesus, the Son. And then who is the mind? Who is the head? The Father. So his material is really cool. So that is Thrive Neurotheology, Emotional Health and in, um, Emotional Intelligence. So that's in the description box below. <laughs> and, um, Thank you for um, watching the video. And if this video has um, been helpful for you, uh, for you um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's hear back from you. Um, what type of person are you? Are you a head person? Are you a body person? Or are you all, not all three. <laughs> are you a heart and emotion person? Because we are all three, just like the Godhead being the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We, as our beings, are heart, mind, body, soul, spirit. <laughs> and um, I just want to thank you for watching. And remember that we are trying for weekly videos. <laughs> so we have new music Mondays at seven o'clock. On Winston, Winston Wednesdays at seven o'clock, and then Funny Fridays. Um, Y'all be gracious with me, be patient with me with my uploads. Um, but that is what we're shooting for. So make sure you have your bell notifications on just in case. I am inconsistent, but I'm trying to be way more consistent with the material. And um, if this video has been a blessing to you, make sure you share and um, connect with us on all social media platforms. So that's Facebook, that's YouTube, that's Instagram, that's Twitter. 
and everything's in the description box below. All the music I'm playing, all the Bible scriptures, and all the um, course, not all the course material, because um, it's a great program and a great course, so you actually have to sign up. <laughs> But um, the resources for finding the material, like the book, um, is there. And then lastly, <laughs> this video has been brought to you to the, by my book, new book release, <laughs> The Science of Salvation, the Manual for Manufacturing and Manipulating Faith. So if you want to just support me, support me um, monetarily by buying a book, by, yeah, I think that's the only thing I'm selling. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you don't have the funds, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we good, alright? <laughs> and um, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. I love y'all. Um, comment below, I really want to hear what portion um, you operate from and um, how you are going to implement stillness, silence, and solitude in hearing from God. Give yourself time, it may take you like years to get this down, but um, it is very fulfilling. And remember, that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? Thanks for watching.